welcome to my playhouse and today I want to make an update on how the battery diesel filters are doing and they're in the basement and I just arrived at my playhouse here a couple of hours ago and I haven't been down to the basement yet turning on the lights oh that's no flames they are still working both of them Let's see what the voltage is. It's 12.4 volts and 12.3 volts. And down here is the other diesel faders working on the other batteries. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disconnect these diesel faders and I'm gonna charge the batteries. And we will see with the battery analyzer if the batteries has improved any. That's gonna be interesting. I've disconnected them and I've plugged in power. I stole the power from down here. And right now the batteries are charging. This little one is charging with about two point something amps. And this one looks like uh, the black one here. It's charging with about three amps. I'm gonna leave the power on for a while until they're fully charged or until they're not really drawing any power in. In the meanwhile, now that I have stolen the power from from these two batteries, I just I just move them over here so that they're easier to test. I'm not gonna need that one. Let's connect the battery analyzer to this little one. There. And come on. There. And we're gonna select that, and we're gonna select EN, and we're gonna see what it says. It says 13.7 volts. That's that's a fair amount higher than what I saw last week. And it says 230 cranking amps, and this one says 176 cranking amps. And the internal resistance it was 13.09, and now it's 10.06. This battery, I, I just pulled it off, so it probably it would probably be good, a good idea for it to sit for a couple of hours. So I'm gonna try that. But let's test the other one while we're at it. And we're just gonna put the plus onto the plus lead and the minus one onto the minus lead. And we get, and we select on this battery, we're gonna select the bottom one and we're gonna select EN again and compare it with the note. It's not. It's almost the same. The voltage is a lot higher because it's just came off the structure. The cranking amps, it's, it's only a little bit higher. And the internal resistance is only a little bit lower. So this battery hasn't improved very much. It's the next day and I just, I just exchanged these batteries for the other batteries. You can see that on that distance. Uh, now these are charging and connected to their small diesel filters. And this has been sitting on the table for mm, not that long. Probably like 10, 15 minutes. But let's just measure them and see how, they, how they're doing. There's the note for it. So collect, connect, minus to minus and plus to plus. Yeah, closed battery thing, I think that's and EN. Let's see what the battery says. It says 13 volts, 255 cranking amps, internal resistance of 9 milliohms. And if we look at the note, which is right here, there's not much of a difference. The voltage has gone up. 0.8 volts, which is of course good. The internal resistance has just gone down 0.03 milliohms, which is next to nothing. It's inaccuracies in the measurements. 
and the same 255 cranking amps. So after one week of diesel fleeting, I would say nothing has happened. I'm gonna update the note over here. We'll just say one week after one week and then it's 13 volts uh, 255 amps and 9.00 milli ohms and put the note back to the battery and let's see the next one and we'll be connecting that as well and select the same settings let's compare the two uh, the voltage has gone up they haven't been sitting long enough on the table but here at least there's a difference in the cranking amps it looks like that we got six more cranking amps out of this battery <laughs> and the internal resistance has dropped like 0.45 milliohms so this one is improving slightly I'll update the note the note has been updated so now I think we'll leave it for another week and see if that has another positive effect on the battery but this battery is it's about half of what the other one can produce and this battery I think this is supposed to be better than this one uh, right now it's absolutely not I'll put them back onto the diesel faders and they will have another week to prove themselves I did another video on not these diesel faders but the other ones that uh, my cousins has built and we had the it, the video is in the stack of videos that I've done and I'll link to it I'll, I'll put the name of it here and you can see the number oh, that will be over here the number of the video so you can just follow the numbers uh, they're all I it's like running numbers on my video so find the video with the right number we did a video on the other digital faders and we found out by connecting it to a oscilloscope that the length of these wires were very important so it was very important not to have wires that was too long and this one might just be a bit too long I really want I will try and shorten one of the cables on one of these digital faders so that it just reaches between the poles or it just reaches between the poles and a little something not too much left over. I want to do that and I've just heated up the soldering iron so let's go do that. Actually I think both wires are a bit too long so I think we will shorten out both of them even though the red one is very much not it's too long I'll just shorten it up by that amount and let's just do the other one the same length about the same length there and that's gonna be the excess amount and do you know these crocodile clips it can be very hard to get the plastic off of these until you whiten them press as much as you can and then hold here and then this comes right off that's a little trick And it makes it a lot easier and these are really easy they're just soldered on like that so that's gonna be a piece of cake and I'm just gonna cut this it's a nice piece of wire I'll keep that it's good to have a little wire laying around and we'll just uh, remove the insulation of this cable and I don't think I need much I'm just gonna ins remove a little piece and I have like a trick for doing this how I just did it but when you have a wire you and uh, you have a, a pl some pliers uh, 
I use the pliers and I squeeze it just enough so that it bites through the cable and then I go out here and I nip I nip the end and then it should be possible for me to to pull the, the wire and the insulation apart like that and I always just turn these around I don't know why it's just a bad habit everybody does that I guess and then it's always a good idea to put on the plastic things because in a second or two you will have forgotten about that and you will have to redo the undo the soldering and put them back on and yeah it's a hassle and I have this I have this stand it's really meant for putting on a PCB and working on that but from time to time it works with a cable as well so and I'm gonna put some solder on this one very nice and this is the black one so we're gonna unsolder the black one see if I can do that in with just one hand looks good there we are I think we're gonna put some solder on that. There we are. And we're gonna connect the two. Ow, 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 ow. They're very well connected. And the same trick applies when you need to get the plastic back. You open the teeth as wide as you can, put in your fingers and put the plastic back. Now then. The diesel fader has a lot shorter cables and it measures the voltage as about 11.12 something and it will start diesel fading in just a second. Pulsing. You can hear the sound and it's not a buzzer inside of the diesel fader, it's the, it's the 10 kilohertz that that it's dissolving the battery with. Um, I think this should help. This long wire is probably it. It will give the pulses a lot of resistance. So hopefully the dissolver, if it works at all, is going to be more efficient. But I'm not going to shorten this one. So we'll have one with short leads and one with long leads and I'll ask my cousin to come down here with the oscilloscope at a later video. Now both of the batteries are desulfating happily here behind me, back on the shelf, away from the working table. which It's a really irritating place to put them because I need that space. But over here they can, they can sit, no problem. Um, thank you for watching my videos, do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and if you need uh, more on desulfating of batteries I have some older videos that you might enjoy and I'm probably gonna make some more because I want to see where this goes and maybe it will do something for the batteries and maybe it won't and if it won't I will exchange these batteries and try with some other ones but yeah thank you for watching have a really nice day. Bye-bye.